So here's how you create a backdash on keyboard. What you want to do is press back. So if you're playing on the left side, that's the A button. And if you're playing on the right side, that's the D button. So whichever your back input, that's which one you want to press. So what you do is you double tap back and then you hold that second back. Don't release it at all. And once you get that down, you can press S or whatever your down button is and then hold that as well. So you're holding both keys at the same time during that sequence. And then once you get that down, you can let go of the down input, which is S, and keep holding the A button, which is back. And just keep holding that button, and then once you're ready to let go, you can let go of that. And then what you do after that is you press back, and then you press S, and hold them both at the same time, and then let go of S, hold back, let go of back, press back, hold down, let go of down, let go of back. So the first time is the only time you really want to go for double tap back and then and then hold those two inputs like when you hold the down and then you hold the back and then let go. After that point you just want to let go of A and then press A back and then you want to go into down and hold those two let go of S or down, hold back, and then you want to let go of back, and then press back again, hold it while holding down as well, and let go, and keep doing that over and over again. And then once you get that down, you can slowly build up to getting it faster and faster, getting faster and faster Korean backdashes. So to break that down once again, so the very first time you do it, you want to Whenever you first initiate your Korean backdash, you want to double tap back and hold it, and then you want to press S. And then you want to hold S both at the same time. You want to hold the back and the down at the same time. And then let go of down, and then keep holding back, let go of back, press back, then press down, hold down, and back at the same time, let go of down keep holding back, let go of back, and just keep repeating it over and over. And then you can get pretty clean backdashes over time, just slowly practicing this up. So if I do it slow, it'll look something like this. And if I just keep doing it a little bit faster, just keep automating that process and making sure that I let go of the down first instead of the down back. And if I keep doing that, then I can get some pretty clean Korean backdashes on keyboard. Hope this helped.